2020, man, has been, this is probably one of the hardest years I've ever worked. Um, you know, yeah, because when the pandemic happened, I was gonna, I was preparing for the worst, hoping for the best. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. When you, when you look at what's gone on over the last now five plus months um, with COVID. Um, how have you, have you shifted anything in what you're doing? Have you shifted in your business? Have you seen opportunities during this time that you've taken advantage of? Are you advising people to do things differently? Um, just curious to hear how the last five months has been for you. When I lost everything in the crash and I came back to sell 100 properties and then I wrote a book, the second book I wrote was called List to Last, How to Survive Every Real Estate Market Crash. And it was literally, it's a book that's set up to prepare people and agents for these kind of moments. And basically the bottom line is, is that you don't do anything different. Right? You don't, you, you pay attention to what's happening in the market, yeah. but you understand that market shifts mean temporary, uh, you know, it's a temporary downturn. Whereas, you know, something scary happens in the market, the market turns on a dime, everybody takes a step back for a month or two, and then it's, we're, we're right back to, to normal, basically. Maybe at lower prices, maybe a different transaction rate, maybe different inventory, maybe different, maybe something's different. But the thing is, is transactions continue to happen regardless of the market. And so that little window of time where something scary happened to the market, everybody put, everybody put their brakes on for two to three months. That's what scares most agents out of the business when a crash happens. But if yeah. you can just understand that you need to take advantage of that moment, call every single person that you can and ask them how they're doing, what you can do to help them, and then use that moment to build your database even bigger than it was and get ready for the wave that's fixing to happen on the back end of it where if prices do go down, you're going to see people jumping in. Like if prices went down right now, it would be a frenzy. Yes. Right. It would be an absolute frenzy. Now, the only way prices can go down is if inventory goes up and the only way inventory goes up is if demand goes down. Demand's so high. Inventory is so low. It's not just going to just all of a sudden just turn upside down with a, with a slip of a, a, a switch. Yep. It's, it's going to be a process to get from where we are now to a place where prices come down. In my opinion, I mean, unless something just another crazy like pandemic type deal happens, I mean, I just don't see it. So, you know, moving forward, I think real estate is one of the healthiest markets that we've ever seen. Um, interest rates, I believe, are going to stay pretty low for a long time just because yep. of the, how long it's going to take the economy to really cover, recover from the pandemic. Yeah. Um, you know, and like I say, it's going to be such a process to really go from point A to point B to where prices might drop. And if they do drop, dude, people are so scared from 2008 whenever they lost everything. Yeah. They're hoarding cash right now, waiting for a crash. And, and like, I have so many clients that, that want to buy cheaper real estate. They're waiting. They just think it's coming any day now. Yeah. And, you know, there's just so many people on the sidelines. If prices go down, it's going to be a frenzy. And uh, you know, it's just yeah. gonna be, so right now, man, like a lot of markets have multiple offers on every listing. Uh, property's going for more than full price. And that's not in my market. My market's actually better because we have a, probably a 30 to 60 day on the market where when I make an offer with the buyer, there's not multiple offers, mm -hmm. we're not competing. Um, my listings are selling quickly. Um, you know, they're not sitting on there too long, but they're not selling in a day. Yeah. You know, I like that market. I like where I am because I have time for my buyers to buy stuff. You know, I have, yeah. you know, and, and the sellers know what their property's worth. Whereas if everything is going for higher than full price, they don't know where to price it. Yeah. You know, they're, they're going to leave money on the table. So, they're, you know, it's always a weird situation there. So, yeah, man, as far as the pandemic goes, hey, I'm working out of my house. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of stuff virtually. But 2020, man, has been... This is probably one of the hardest years I've ever worked. Um, you know, yeah, because when the pandemic happened, I was gonna, I was preparing for the worst, hoping for the best. So I went into hyper, hyper work mode to try to prepare for worst case scenario, which hey, still might happen. Who knows? Mm -hmm. uh, and so as I'm in the middle of like really grinding it out to try to put myself in the best position possible, if the market did crash really hard, all of a sudden the economy opens back up and the market surges. 
now I'm even more busy. Now I'm working even harder than I was <laughs> before the market, the, the economy reopened. So it's like, I really went hard and then I had to go even harder when the economy reopened and it just hasn't let up since, you know? So and it's going to be my best year ever, I believe, at the end of the year, Yeah. Um, you know, which is going to be a really cool thing to see. Um, but but I'm putting in a lot of work. But I, like you said, man, I love what I do. So I'm having fun with it.